in this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Pyramid of the Moon by Shrine Builder. going on my name is jared and welcome to beholden to the riff the heaviest bass channel on youtube thank you so much for checking out this video let's get right into it we are in drop c sharp tuning so grab your racks tune down and let's do this can be broken into four small phrases. The first phrase is going to start on the fifth fret of the low C sharp string. We're going five, seven, eight, seven. Then we're gonna slide down and hit the second fret on the same string. From there, we're gonna play the second fret again, pull off to open and catch the open string one more time. Second part of riff number one, so fray, the second smaller section starts the same way. From here, instead of pulling off, we're gonna slide up to the fifth fret. Third phrase is the same as the first phrase. Fourth phrase starts out the same. From here, we're sliding all the way up to the 10th fret and then back to the 9th fret. Here's the full thing, nice and slow. number two is built around two chords or kind of two phrases. The first part starts on the open C sharp string, the low C sharp, and we're going to hammer on the second and pull off back to open. And on the very last beat, we're going to catch the second fret on the G sharp string. So he sticks to that every time he plays riff number two. What changes is every time he plays the second half. So the second half or the second phrase of riff two is built on this, but he just kind of like individually picks notes and makes little riffs and phrases out of those and around those kind of chord tones. So the first phrase kind of sticks to the top two strings. That's just 4-4. Four, four. 
And on the last one, we slide on the top string up to the fifth fret. Then we're back in. Next time around, he starts with a power chord. Then we jump back up to fourth fret on the top string. Next time. That one might be my favorite. It's uh, just kind of a power chord here. So two and four. Then he comes back to the open G sharp. And just lets it sit for an extra beat. Next time. This one he does a bunch. It because it sounds great. Goes starts second fret, G sharp string. Then we go fourth fret on the next on the high C sharp string. Then the final two notes are a hammer on from two to four. <laughs> that was great. Next time around. Starts out, hints at these kind of, then we do one of those grace note slides up to the fifth fret on the high string. Here's the next time. So does an octave shape at the beginning. Then we walk down 5 4 2 on the high C sharp. So, me measure 33, we're going to stick kind of to the second fret. So, it's second fret G sharp string, second fret high C sharp string. Great. He's just kind of playing around with the same phrase and oh, man, just so cool. So next passage, come on, measure 34. Kind of similar thing. Next. Kind of shakes it up a little bit here. So we go. Here's the next phrase. This starts measure 38 and goes into 39. So it's on the G sharp string. Then we come fourth fret on the high C sharp. Then back. Riff number two finishes kind of right in the octave here. Fourth fret on the high string. Then we go right back into the intro riff. Here's the last few measures. So good. Riff number three starts out on the seventh fret of the low C sharp string. We are going to be doing seven, nine, ten all day long, and we're going to sneak uh, 12th fret every once in a while uh, later down the road. We'll get to that. So starts out seven, nine, seven, nine, ten. Then we're going to go ten, nine, ten, nine a few times. Back 
back to seven. Here's what we got so far. From there, we're walking back up. We're gonna go seven, nine, nine, ten, nine. Finish off seven, nine. So here's the whole thing nice and slow. Nice, thick, nice and heavy. Uh, we rocked that line for a while and starts throwing in the 12th fret. Man, maybe measure 100. So I'll just play one time through, add that 12th fret in, then we'll go back and check it out. So, starts out the same. Then we're gonna go 10, 10, slide up to 12, and we're gonna go 10, 9. Then we do the same thing like we did before. So here it is one more time with that 12th fret version. So good. Before we get into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world to me and really helps get these videos out there. Thank you so much. play riff number four during the outro. It starts with this really cool kind of lead-in fill. It goes like this. So that's 2-4 on the high string, then 2-4 on the C-sharp string. Then we go 5-4 on the high string, and then outline the arpeggio the full power chord. Very cool. Then the, the meat, the main riff, is a whole bunch of sevens and nines. It really riding the ninth fret. So that last part, we just add in a 10th fret, so it's... I'm just gonna play the full outro. It's pretty much that, just slight variations, very, very slight variations. So I'm just gonna play through. Uh, let's do it full speed. you enjoyed the video if this is your thing please subscribe to the channel hit the like button and let me know which shrine builder song you'd like to see next